Happy Wednesday, Swar Nation! How are you guys? Greetings and salutations. Let me know when you're in the room. I guess I'll have to do that shout out again. I don't know if it showed up, but. Booyah! Chaka chaka! Boom! Here we go. How are you guys all doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh. Hi. I heard, I, Did I scare you again? Yeah, I was just making sure you didn't fall down. I, I, I didn't. I'm standing. Oh, you did go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Brandy's worried about me because I'm making loud sounds. So Ace, looks like I scared her again. So holla, holla, holla. Let me go ahead and tilt this up. All right. Greetings and salutations, everybody. It is... February 17th. <laughs> I don't remember the day, but all I know is it's a great day here at Coffin Comics because it's a Kickstarter launch day, 7.30. Today, here at HQ, we're going live, doing our Kickstarter launch parties like we normally do. It's always fun. There's going to be some amazing things for you guys to check out. I know some of you are salivating with that PDF we sent out. If you haven't gotten it, go to the Lady Death Universe and download that so you can flip through it at your leisure before things get started. We also are going to have the pre-party show, like usual, here, here, here. So, let's see who's here. I want to say good morning. You're welcome, Ace. I hope you heard it. <laughs> Jay, Jay, welcome to the show. Everybody, thank you so much for joining in, and thank you so much for checking us out. So, Kickstarter launch day, you guys know what that means. That means craziness. That means all of us sitting at computers, psh, answering emails, answering emails, answering emails. Um, yeah, that stuff. I was going to show you Siggy, but I, I, I want you guys to salivate more. So I know Brian did the big reveal, but I think you need to see it live later today. And I think Brian should be the man to do it. So I'll be manning the computers, answering your emails, and helping you guys out with your add-ons today, along with Brandy, Francesca, Moonshine Mel, we'll all be here. Nick, of course, the amazing Napalm, and a few other surprises. I don't know. All I know is I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be working late here for you guys, and it's going to be a blast, like always. So thank you, everybody, for your continued support in the past, and... Get ready for some fun stuff at Kickstarter Day. And welcome to the Catacombs. This is a little weekly show we like to do here from noon to 1230 here in the Sworn Nation. Thought I'd uh, show you some pretty little things we got here. I don't know if this is going to show up. Oh, well, it helped if I had the other panel. But, you know, this is beautiful little enamel pen. We got it here at the store. Check it out. And, of course, we have Hell Witch. Right there. These are all available here at the store. They are uh, $10. Great value. These would look great on a leather jacket, jean jacket, backpacks, purses, wherever you want to display them. Do it. Show your characters with pride. These are really beautiful enamel pens. Definitely, it looks like I'm pinching my nipple. <laughs> uh, so here you go, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Get them today. Some other cool stuff we have on the store. Bringing back some classics for all you folks. Boom. Everyone knows Brian is into filmmaking and he loves all things horror. Well, he's made some awesome short films and we have it here just put up on the site. There's something out there. This is a mini film that Brian did. There is tons of extras. There's a director's cut. Commentary with director, cast, and crew. Actor audition takes. Oh, those are cool. Gore scenes. Still photo gallery. Behind the screens. Making of featurette. Poster and advertising gallery. Killer Gnomes number one. Comic book. A trailer. And script and bloopers. Check this out, guys. Just put up on the store today. Get it. Great price. At least like uh, $10 or under. So definitely check it out, guys. Something out there. DVD just now added to the store. But wait, there's some other cool stuff. Was able to get us some restock from our off-site of some Lady Death Odyssey. These are currently available at the Coffin Comic Store. Go ahead and click the link, do some shopping. We do have some of the classic Chaos Era. And if all goes well, I'll be loading up some other uh, stock of older items that I've found uh, while doing my uh, rooting around looking for all these treasures for you guys. So, 
But wait, we got even more from the classics. We also have Evil Ernie, The Revenge graphic novel. This is only 10, 12 bucks, $13. Check it out. We still got plenty of stock. Don't worry about it. Get that awesome signature that would go right there from Brian. So get them today. We got Chaos comic stuff. We got Brian's horror mini film he did on DVD, and there's a lot of cool extras on there. I mean, there's a lot. And the great thing is, it was the winner of eight film festival awards. That's right. Brian Polito. He just don't do comics. He did some films, too. Also, some other stuff to bring to your attention. We still have more naughty books. I put my fingers, finger censure bars. These are also available over at the Coffin Shop. And probably one of the most beautiful things I think we've produced outside of like legend editions and what have you. This Lady Death Masterpieces art book available now. Get them while we got them. We have stock available. We are sold out of the special signed editions. So if anyone's asking, they are sold out. Unless we stumble across some more, but to my knowledge, we went through every single copy. But this is the one. Look at this beautiful slip case. That beautiful art. You got tons of artwork from lots of people who have done some amazing stuff with the past. Art Germ for one. Eric Basaluda. Joe Benitez. Genevieve Brumall. Ryan Brown. J. Scott Campbell. Billy Tuchis, Soros Song, Mark Silvestri, Colette Turner, Jamie Tyndall. We also got uh, Richard Ortiz, all you Richard Ortiz fans. If you guys haven't picked this up, I highly recommend it. Get it today. We have these available right now at the Coffee Comic Shop. Let me put this beautiful thing back in its slip case for you. So I hope everyone's been having a really good week. I also have a very big announcement to make. Um, we got a weather advisory. Um, from of the companies that do the shipping um, Effective today. There will be some delays in delivering of packages because of weather nothing to do with COVID weather and all of us uh, a lot of our fans out in Texas uh, Oklahoma all you uh, middle central southern states. They are getting pounded with some severe weather uh, and it is affecting um, getting shipments uh, to folks in a timely manner. So we did get an advisory uh, from some of the uh, shipping uh, carriers we use. So be patient. We're putting a, a notification on the website just so no one's surprised, but I thought you should hear it from me first. There will be delays in shippings that are weather related. Nothing we can do about that. Can't blow away those clouds. And man, I'm glad we're here because it looks so chilly and my heart goes out to all you folks. Texas and everywhere else that's getting affected. Um, send you all the heat of my love for you guys to hopefully uh, get this weather system out of your hair and get some more uh, friendlier weather, shall we say. Anyways, what's up, Bob? Ace? Who else we got in here? Jay! <laughs> Boy, you guys are getting them quick. All right, well, let's start things off with what we have here at Cat Combs. I hope you like what I have for you. I got some pretty fun stuff, so let's get the ball rolling, shall we? First up, I have a couple mock-ups for you. This is uh, from Hell Witch the Forsaken. This is the Lavidia edition. It is sealed. It has the mock-up COA and that pretty little sticker right up there. have one of these available for you today. Once it's done, that's it. Uh, most mock-ups, there is only one to three made, and that's it. And they are sold as is, just because we use them for adverts and what have you. Another one from the Forsaken Kickstarter. This is the Risque Dominator. This is also a mock-up. How's that look? Does that look good there? Does that look good, guy? Ace, does that look good? Yeah? Ace? Jay? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> but here he goes, guys. Another mock-up. Get him, get him, get him. Yum, yum, come get some. Also, got another classic. Uh, this was for a Paradise Toronto Comic Con. Uh, it is a very early um, Chaos, or not Chaos, Coffin edition. It was only 69 made. This is the BP edition. This is Lady Death Icon Toronto Con edition. 
So far, I've only run across the one. Some of these older coffin ones, I love it because you can see the evolution of coffins logo over the over the last few years by looking at the backs of our books. Look at that. That's an old school logo right there. Check it. So I got one of these up there for you today. Boom, boom, who's this? Superb. Excellent. All right, we've got a number three edition for you. It is Lady Death, The Reckoning, Naughty Sketch Co. Ah! Beautiful piece. It is number three. This is the lowest serial number we do offer. Then after that, it's the few APs and BPs and publisher files, and then phew, they're gone. This one, this I really got pumped to find. Um, this is a beaut. This is Lady Death, Tribulation, so number three, this is the La Muerta cover. Check it, all you Richard Ortiz fans, check it, check it, check it. This is a number three. I was so happy to find this. This is a beautiful cover. Amazing. Why are my hands shaking? I haven't had enough coffee, or maybe I had too much. Ha, I don't know. But I know, I gotta get pumped. Kickstarter. Tonight, HQ, yummy, yummy. All right, next up, another number three. It's the Lady Death Icon. This is the Blood Edition. Only one of these. This is the only one I've found so far. This is it. This is it. That's really beautiful. How we make pretty books, don't we? We make very pretty books. <laughs> Well, apparently Brandy came in a little concerned, um, but, you know, she's she's kind of like that. Whoa, hey, here she comes. She's jumping in. I'm really pretty. Uh, <gasps> yeah, the blood. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my God. It's I, so gorgeous. I haven't seen it. I was watching the screen. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's so pretty. I can't believe I found this. Oh. I mean, this is some really cool stuff. I'm like, holy crap. You know, where did this stuff been hiding for all these years? They were waiting for me treasures I present to you. That's right. They came to me. They talked in my ears. They said, you must introduce these on the Shrill Catacombs. Because they're beautiful. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, hey. I got a new sombrero on. Yay! Had to retire their red one, so it's going to hang up on the wall. Because the chin snap broke. This looks sexy. It this does, looks it good. Does, it does I really good. like this one, too. So, woo, do the shimmy and do the shake. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, fun time, fun time. We're always having fun here. We're always working hard and having fun because, man, we got a lot of stuff to do. And you know what? We do it because we love you and we try to have fun every day. And hopefully that fun shows in what we do. Oh, okay. Jay Taylor says, I'm better than Beetlejuice. Oh! Just so you know. <laughs> Wow, she's paying attention to those guys. Be aware. I love you all. Oh. I'll uh, see you tonight. Who's coming? Who's coming? Limited edition Lady like, Death Nikes. Hell yeah. Of course, she's all we'll in talk that. to Polito about that one. <laughs> well, let's get uh, Nike on the phone. Lady Death on the... Oh, Ooh, with the soles. Big coffin logo. Ooh. Then I would just have to... Then I would just have to be like this all day. Well, you'd be shoving your foot up everyone's ass. <laughs> That's not what I do. Shh, shh, oh, 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 censored. <laughs> justice for Jeff and justice for Dakota. <laughs> I keep trying to leave, and y'all are saying these challenging words. Well, no justice for Jeff. Well, I didn't say. I, well, Dakota, doesn't she get justice? <laughs> oh, watch, watch the costume. It's this is so the merchandise. Big. So big. That's what she said. <laughs> No, you can't. No, you can't. Uh, who said justice for Coda? I did. <laughs> that was me. No one else said that. I'm, I said I'm it. the mom. Justice for Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> Have a kick-ass day, everybody, and we'll see you tonight. Yes. Woohoo! Woo Woo All right. I also found some other stuff I put up here in the catacombs. These are the last stock we have of these edition. And they are, of course, the amazing homages. We make the best homage editions. 
including this one right here. This is Lady Death Hot Shots Death Gun Warriors. I have three copies left, if I'm recalling correctly. So, if you missed out, and you're a big Shogun Warriors fan like I was as a kid growing up, coolest freaking toys next to Star Wars, thank you very much, Shogun Warriors. This is our homage to the first issue done by Marvel Comics back in 1978. I still have those issues, and I love it when I break them out once in a blue moon just to flip through them for those wonderful memories of when you can go to 7-Eleven with a buck and a half and come home with tons of stuff. For all you of my age, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Death Gun Warriors, last three copies. Don't delay, grab them today. Okay, here's another awesome homage. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm impressed. All right. Possibly for me. Dignity for Dakota. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. All right, I have exactly four, five copies left of this. This is the Lady Death Rider. Boom! Lady Death Rider Spotlight. Five left. Once they're done, that's it. You can hear Brandy squawking in the background about something. I don't know. Chug it out. Get them today. If you're a fan of homages, Dan Feldmeyer. We've got, uh, who else is on here? Oh, this is Electro Ploop. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So yeah, again, I only got five left. These did really well on our promo we did, uh, I believe it was last year, and they just flew out. So folks, if you missed out, now's your last chance on a lot of this stuff. This is the last chance. Next up, another beautiful from Stephen Butler. This is Lady Death Retribution. This is the Dazzle. I only have two copies available. Two copies available. These are the last two. Get them while we got them because tomorrow they could be gone. Uh, okay. Next up, another one I found for you on, and this one's uh, odd. I have Lady Death pinups. This is a Scott Lewis. I have a signed copy available. And I also have how many? Five unsigned copies and those are the last of this as well. Uh, I have yet to run into any APs, BPs, or whatnot, but I'll find that in my adventures later. So get them today, guys. Boom. Hi, hi. Say, hey, only minute, but I wanted to say what's up, brother, and I hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well, too, and uh, thank you for dropping by for a minute. It's always nice to see you guys popping in and out, and even just to say hello. It's always fun. Don't worry, we always rebroadcast these shows later, either on YouTube um, or on other platforms. So definitely check them out. So Scott Lewis fans, these are the last copies that are available for the Scott Lewis Returns editions. Go ahead and move that over a little bit. Put evil right there. There we go. Hmm, kind of like how that stage. All right, let's see what I got here next for you guys. Oh, here we go. This is the last one. Um... This is Lady Death Gallery, 152K. Found one lone copy in a box marked for cons. So I've been finding some really interesting um, onesie stuff when I'm going through some old con boxes. So it's like, ooh, awesome. And you guys went nuts on my scratch and dent stuff. Well, guess what? I got a couple more here for you. I have Malevolent Decimation Heavy Metal Editions. I have one signed and one unsigned. Boom. Scratch and dent. Really good price. 50 bucks a piece. She's got some dings in the corners and some bends. So here you go. I'm presenting them here to you. Bam. Two available. And expect to see more uh, as I come across them and get them uploaded in future episodes. I like saying future episodes. All right. Next up. More scratch and dent goodness for you. I have La Muerta Retaliation. Premier Edition. I got three of these available right now. These are scratch and dent copies. Go ahead and click on the links I provided for the catacombs. And also while you're there, click on the shop one and that'll give you uh, the banner for everything else. There's a uh, section for Hell Witch, La Muerta, scratch and dents, cards, merchandise. Where you can get your foam finger. 
Yeah, I've been working on that all day. All right, next up, this is La Muerta Retaliation Lethal Edition Scratch and Dent, and this one is signed. Get it today. This is the only copy I have up and available at the moment. Another beautiful classic. This is La Muerta Vengeance number one. This is the raw edition, and it too is a scratch and dent. Oh, yeah, dude, I saw the posting. I'll need to look at that. You're getting really good at those, Jay. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. I'm really digging what you're putting out, and a lot of the fans are too, so really proud of you, dude. You're doing amazing work. Thank you for those poems. Um, they're a lot of fun to read, and I look forward to reading them dramatically. Um, go ahead and um, send me a, a, a link, and uh, that way I can download it and read it on Monday's show. All right? Thank you, brother. Also, another Scratch of Dead stock. This is La Muerta Vengeance. I have three available in our shop uh, scratch and dent section. Who's messaging me? Not right now. I'm doing a show. Boom, boom, ba -doom, boom. And also we have for scratch and dent. I only have two of these. This is Hell Witch, the Forsaken. This is the homage cover. I have two available. These are scratch and dent. These are sold as is. There is no returns on these. Great deals. These are good reader copies, folks. Or lender copies when you don't want to let somebody you don't trust with your comic books, you have a lender copies. Really great value. I think it's going 10, 15 bucks, guys. I got two available right now. And then also, I have Zach the Zombie Exterminator Heavy Metal Edition. This is also part of the Scratch and Dents. How's that look? Oh. So don't delay. Get these today. A lot of these are onesie twosie stock. But I'm also proud to present another great classic. This is Purgatory Collected Edition 3. This collects Purgatory Monthly 6 and 7 in this volume. Yep, six and seven. Wow. Look at that. So all you Purgatory fans, I found a little something-something for you. And I am so excited that I have the stock to present it to you. So get them today. Really good value. Already, um, let's see, who picked it up already? It's like uh, Mr. Walsh. I think already claimed one. Yep. Where are here? here, here. Yep, Jay Taylor got one. It's a good value. It's like six bucks, I think it is. So really good price. You get two issues in that book. So if you have any gaps or you're just like, oh, I want to read something purgatory, well, I got an option for you. And if I find more stuff like that, you know I'll be bringing it to the Coffee Comics uh, shop. I can't talk. More coffee. All right, and last but of course not least, I was able to, I scrabbed up 13 copies of these. I was able to find 13 left in a box. This is the one that started it all. This is Evil Ernie, Youth Gone Wild graphic novel. I have 13 available, and that's all I have left. So I thought I'd mix it up with a little classic stuff for you, some new stuff for you. I got some scratch and dent for you. I got some last stock for you as well. What time are we at now? I hope to God she didn't put sparkles in it because it probably cut up my innards and I'll be bleeding out. <laughs> Quite possibly. Um, dude, that... Those additions and those tears that we've added, that Eric Powell one, dude, in the Sylvester be still my heart. Um, I really love what Eric Powell did with Lady Death's Hair in that image. It is stunning. And it is something I don't ever recall seeing uh, an artist's rend uh, rendition of her hair like that. Just absolutely beautiful. 
Yeah, I got about 13 of them, man. I got 13 copies. And it's a good price. I think they're like 10 bucks. So really good value. Last of the stock. Grab them today. Get them while I got them. Um, I'm hoping I can find more, but it's not looking too good as of now for um, uh, Youth Gone Wild. Uh, and uh, what was the other one I'm also running low on? There's another uh, graphic novel I, I know I'm low on stock on, and I need to find out if I can get some more. So don't don't delay on some of this stuff. It, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, however, if it does go off the page, reach out to me. Maybe I do have a copy in stock. Um, not everything sells out, so sometimes there'll be some stock um, that I'll keep in my office. So uh, reach out to me if there's something you see here in the catacombs and you're not sure if it's sold out or if it just went away because everything stays up there for five days. So just reach out to me, inquiries at coughingcomics.com, and I'll do some digging around. I'd rather it get in your hands than sit in a box until I present it later. So, and I want to make sure you get what you want. So if I can do it, I will do it. Uh, that is my pledge to you guys. Gotta get a shirt. <laughs> Dude, ah, shirts. Yeah, I hope we do get some more shirts because I, uh, could use a couple new ones just saying uh let's see what time do i got okay i got four minutes so remember today guys it's a very big day at hq this is the launch of the lady death kickstarter i'll be here moonshine we'll all be here Woo! my hair is a mess um so it's gonna be a lot of fun check it out 6 30 mountain standard time which will be 5 30 pacific which will be oh gosh my brain farts what is it 8.30 at the Eastern Standard Time. So check it out, guys. We always have fun. You've seen Brian running around during these Kickstarters. It's, it's, he's maniacal. And he's having fun. He's laughing with you. He's showing you all the art and all the beautiful things. And everything we are offering on this Kickstarter. It is some amazing stuff. Um, so far, I think this is the most beautiful Kickstarter and the most beautiful editions we've put out so far. And that cosplay cover, I think, is going to go really fast. Because... That thing still makes me blush. And holy condolies is that beautiful. So let's see if anyone has any questions. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And again, if you missed it, there was a weather advisory uh, when it came to deliveries that we got today. Brandy wanted me to let you all know. We're putting it up on the um, store site just so that you guys know. It's got nothing to do with us. It's all Mother Nature just doing her thing, and man, is it a doozy. Lots of road closures. There was a tut up here in Arizona uh, this past weekend, and I think the weekend beforehand. Um, they were closing down the I-17, uh, I-40, a whole bunch of um, highways that were leading up to the northern section of the state. They were shut down in both directions. So if you're in those areas, you don't need to go out. Please don't. Stay safe. Stay warm. Bundle up, everyone cuddle. Let's get through this together. I'm so, so hoping everyone is okay. So everyone out there, from the bottom of my heart, take care of yourselves, be safe, and um, hang out with us. Hang out with us tonight. 6.30, we start to do the pre-party. 7 p.m., which will be 6 p.m. on Pacific Standard Time and 9 p.m. on the Eastern Standard Time. We will be launching the next Lady Death, Kickstarter, Cataclysmic Majesty. And also, might I add, before I wrap things up, this is the year of Wargasm and Death Apocalypse! That's right, Wargasm. Everyone say it, Wargasm! See, I got them all saying it over there. That's right, guys. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys Monday. See you tonight also on our Kickstarter launch party. I'll be there. I want you guys to be there. Join in the fun. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your week. I will see you all later. I'm out. Ah!